Hello YouTube. Uh, now, in the last video I discussed semantic consequence and syntactic consequence. Um, semantic consequence obtains for some argument when there is no interpretation that makes the premises true and the conclusion false. Syntactic consequence obtains when you can derive uh, the conclusion from the premises by the application of formal rules. Uh, and I mentioned that the consensus is that semantic consequence uh, best captures um, you know actual consequence so validity is is usually taken to obtain just when semantic consequence obtains um, but the the point here is that it's it's from these ideas of semantic and syntactic consequence that we get the concepts of soundness and completeness um, I'm I'm not sure how deeply I'll be exploring these topics uh, or how relevant they'll really be to uh, later videos in the modal logic series but they're they're very important in all logic uh, it's it's I think we should sort of briefly discuss them uh, cover them briefly here okay so soundness soundness is defined um, as if a is a syntactic consequence of some premises gamma, then A is a semantic consequence of those premises. Um, and this essentially just means that if an argument is derivable by our stipulated rules, then it is valid. So if an argument is derivable, then there is no interpretation that makes the premises true and the conclusion false. So it, it's, it has no counterexample, basically. Um, and a system is sound only if it does not allow the derivation of arguments for which there is a counterexample. So uh, that's uh, soundness. What about completeness? Um, completeness is, if A is a semantic consequence of gamma, then A is a syntactic consequence of gamma. Uh, so that is, if an argument is valid, if there is no counterexample to an argument, um, Th then it can in principle be derived. Now of course some valid arguments are so complex that uh, each might fill you know a hundred books with the derivations of them but the idea is that in principle it's possible for somebody with uh, an enormous um, amount of time on their hands to derive the argument. Uh, so if, if the argument is valid then it can be derived. Um, so a logical system is complete only if all the arguments um, that are valid, and if all the arguments that have no counterexample, can be derived. Um, a simple way of thinking about these two concepts is that soundness means that our formal proofs don't accept anything that's wrong, uh, and completeness means that they don't exclude anything that's right. So we use truth trees. Um, we're using truth trees to, as, as our sort of uh, method, uh, and uh, the idea is that our system is sound if we can't, if our truth trees don't um, show as valid an argument that is actually invalid, basically, and uh, our system is complete if our truth trees do not exclude any arguments that are in fact valid. In other words, soundness and completeness together mean that we can derive all and only the valid arguments of a system. So these are quite important concepts for that reason. Uh, if both of the, if these hold, then that means that all and only the valid arguments of a system can be derived. Uh, I'm not really going to look at these in any more detail here, but um, I might do in the future, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.